Today, with the rise of social media around the world, we have completely new types of data that we can analyze to understand social problems. It's not only new, it's also new in scale, and this requires a completely new skill set to be able to understand. I study how armed groups mobilize on social media and what about what they do in the online world attracts supporters to join them. What I've been focusing most recently on is the Islamic State and what they have been doing extensively in the last few years on Twitter. I've been able to capture over 1.6 million users who have been actively following Islamic State accounts, being exposed to propaganda and communicating with each other. When I got access to all these data, I was amazed that actually we can study so much. I found what was happening in ISIS networks, where they were located, and what happened in the areas that they were located in. And what I was able to do is to do different kinds of analysis on this. One of them was to understand what, in the social context of a person, can make them more likely to radicalize, using data on unemployment, data on localities, data on hate crimes. We were able to see whether there is actually a link on the possible causes of radicalization. Another project actually looked at the other side of the story. So what can help de-radicalize individuals? What might be useful to sway individuals away from the path of extremism? This is all possible with the big data tools we have today. For example, crowdsourcing allows us to understand what's in a sample of tweets using statistical methods or machine learning, where we teach an algorithm to infer what's in the text of a post without reading it. This is something that is completely new, that allows us researchers to understand what we're studying on a large scale. The ability to better understand what is going on in that world of extremism can help us better design policy to solve it. I think it's an exciting frontier that I hope many more people embrace because I believe this is where the future is.